look at this little pepper plant. Remember, it had all the leaves eaten off from a hornworm. Well, it has grown back and it's got a little fruit on it. You go, you little green bell pepper plant. Hey, everybody, Ann here, just sitting here having my coffee with all of you. Chicken chores have been done. Papa's been out for a walk. And yeah, I harvested a ton of veggies and look what I did with them. I diced up two quarts of jalapeno peppers. Yes, I left the seeds in because I like my stuff spicy. One quart of cucumbers, and I still have like two cucumbers left, I think, and a quart of the green bell peppers. So yeah, that's a lot of chopping to do. It took me all morning. It was my plan today to make a uh, can something up with it, like cowboy candy. I'm, I'm wanting to make a relish, kind of more like a chopped up more relish. So I chopped up all those veggies and then I went to gather the ingredients and I discovered I don't have any sugar. Oh my, I mean, I may have a cup. It calls for like five cups of sugar. So um, I went ahead and just put them in my ice chest. They'll keep until I can get to the store and get some sugar. And then I'm going to can me up a whole big bunch of, well, it's going to be kind of like cowboy relish, I guess. It's going to be more like a relish than the candy. You know what I mean? So... Um, I won't have to chop it up or anything if I add it to like potato salad or egg salad sandwich or um, tuna salad sandwich or something like that. I can just put it in, mix it up, and it'll be good. So yeah, I've got a whole lot of chopped veggies. That took me like two hours to do. But today, uh, I've been kicking butt, chopping up wood for the last few days. So today is going to be a take it easy day. I may not even get out of my jammies. Uh, I think I do need to like put on something else if I go outside, but, uh, yeah, so I'm just going to relax today. So who knows what I'm going to do. I did manage to chop up that patty pan squash, took the peel off, took the seeds out and it is now dehydrating. I figured I better just get to it and do something with this squash. It's the only one that I had. So I'm dehydrating it and it's going to go into my dehydrated squash mix. You know what? I need to show you those pressies that came. You know what time it is? Oh my goodness, that is so annoying. Do you guys ever get tired of me doing that? It's like I have to do it. I'm a creature of habit. Okay, now I already know what this is. I think I've got it open enough uh, because somebody told me they were sending it. So let me open it. Can you see what it is? Hold on. I used to have one of these, but it got a leak in it. This is a doggy pool. It's one of those here. I'll put a little picture up in the corner because uh, I'm not going to take this out of the plastic. I'm going to use it later tonight. Uh, you just fold it out and I want to uh, shower in it. I use it to shower and this is a nice one. Oh my gosh. It's very heavy. Uh, and I just set it up, shower in it, and then it's got a little drain. I think it was on the other side. Yeah. Oh, it's a, it's there somewhere. There's a little drain and you can just drain the water out. So I set this up kind of like in my kitchen area or like maybe right by the, the front door. So it's easy for me to pull over and drain and I just stand in it. I don't use a shower curtain or anything. I just use my little shower head thingy and take a shower inside in the privacy of my own home. Oh, I couldn't resist. I had to set this up. It's actually bigger than I thought. This is wonderful. It fills this whole kitchen area. I'll stand in the middle. I'll put the bucket of water over there and I will just shower. It won't go all over the place. Oh my gosh, this is really, really nice. Thank you so much, Sarah. I cannot wait to use it. There is a note and it says, enjoy the shower from Sarah, Sarah Kay. Thank you so much. And I'm going to take a shower in it tonight. But there is one more thing. That pool, it is bigger and it's like, I don't know, thicker than the last one I got. Um, it's great. So thank you, Sarah. So I'm going to show you the other thing. Also from Sarah. Would you look at that big roll of chicken wire? 
Yes, it is 72 inches by 150 feet long. It is going to make a nice big yard that is going to go all the way down to the end of that yard and probably out to here. And then, sorry, I'm panning too quick, all the way over here. So this is exactly what I needed, exactly what I needed. And so I'm going to be able to do the chicken yard. I just need some posts. And I found out a couple days ago that somebody has ordered me the posts off my wish list. I think it comes with 10. There's going to be plenty for this yard. So those are coming from Vicki. Thank you so much. I'm going to be able to get this done. I don't know. I'm just standing here looking at this. Maybe, maybe I can get a little bit of work done on this rooster coop. Yeah, maybe at least I can get the floor done. I'm going to have to take it all apart um, and just get... I think I am going to go ahead and elevate it on the uh, the little logs that I've got. So I think I'm going to try and at least do that today. Still in my jammies. I don't think I'm getting out of my jammies today. Yeah, I hope nobody comes over. <laughs> I got it elevated again, and I do feel better after having done that. Yep, the floor's done. Well, I need one big piece to go over the top of it. I'll get it eventually. Um, but everything is elevated. I've had to shim it up in places to get it to be level. It's not completely level, but when I push on it, I can even get up and stand on it. And it's very solid. It doesn't it doesn't move around. It I mean it it literally is just really, really solid. And it's not bolted down or anything because I mean wanna take this apart and move it somewhere else. But, uh, yeah, so the roosters will have a little room up underneath the there. And, yeah, I did put an extra log here, and I did put another extra log in the middle to support the two joining areas. So now all I have to do is finish the slots in the wood and get the whole thing put together. <laughs> yeah, I've kind of gotten started over here just flushing it out looks terrible but I don't care I just need to cover the holes <sighs> another janky and tiny lap build and I am still in my jammies and I don't even care <laughs> anyhow that's all I got for you guys today see you in the next video Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.